mapping project. Uh, this term could be and was already mentioned today. And it uh, stands for quantitative trade focus. Uh, by doing those analyses, we want to find uh, regions on the genome which are significantly associated with a certain trait. This kind of project need over some work in advance. Us usually you start with the gross. And here you should uh, choose your parents very carefully. Uh, they should differ in the trait of interest. They must uh, give uh, different uh, values on the population. From this gross you develop a population, uh, the size of this population and the design of this population depends on uh, your plant material, on the trade you are interested in and on the questions uh, you are after. Now you can start the project where you phenotype your material. This means you uh, score your plants, uh, uh, the, the traits of your plants which are visible or measurable and which are relevant for the project. And uh, the same material is analyzed in the lab on a genetic layer where you create uh, genetic fingerprints of the lines by screening those lines with a certain number of markers. <coughs> now you calculate both data sets and bring those data together for the final analysis. Uh, I will then demonstrate those steps uh, on, a, on a project where I was involved. Uh, it was an advanced uh, back cross QTL mapping project which was analyzed for QTLs to design head flights. Uh, one parent was Thor This is an Austrian red variety. It is susceptible to this trait. And the other one was critical marker. This is a spelt type. It comes from the Caucasian area and it is uh, very resistant. And the critical um, marker, critical marker is uh, genetically very different to the gene pools of already known resistant sources. So we expected to find new QTLs. These two parents were crossed and two times spectros to Ferrari and then brought to the F3 generations by single seed descent. By uh, doing those two back crosses, the genome contribution of Ferrari increases and those of critical matter decreases. Uh, you normally choose such designs when you perform crosses with exotic materials which have uh, lots of unwanted traits so that your lines in the population have some, uh, have most of the genome in common. Now we start phenotyping. We did this over several years in the field. We uh, spray inoculate the plants with uh, fusarium inoculum when they are flowering and keep those plants wet to have a uh, good infection. Uh, scoring starts 10 days after inoculation and is repeated uh, five times every four days. And we uh, estimate the percent of infected spike jets per plot. Uh, the same material is genotyped. It was done in our, our lab. We used uh, SSR markers in combination with, with AFLD markers. We had around 700 markers per line. Uh, these uh, techniques uh, change very frequently. It does not matter which uh, technique you should choose. You just have to get the information uh, for the several lines which uh, genome region is derived from which parent. Now you calculate those data. Uh, then you get a map from those markers. You see on which chromosome they are, how they are aligned, and you calculate also the distances of those various uh, chromosomes. Now you bring uh, this map together with your uh, peak data, what the final QTL 
generalizes. Uh, we found in this special case uh, five uh, regions on the genome which were uh, significantly which uh, significantly influence FHP severity. The highest performing group here was on the chromosome 5 uh, L. Uh, you can also uh, uh, draw a graph with those two PLs. You see here what this uh, graph, a uh, uh, probability graph on the chromosome 5A. And uh, usually the interesting uh, gene is on the position where the QTL peaks. It is here where you see the Q and a uh, relevant uh, data are the log score. This gives you information about uh, the statistic uh, uh, probability. It should be high, it should be at least <coughs> over 4.4. And the R square, which uh, gives you the uh, information how much of the variation is explained by those certain uh, regions. And from the beginning, from the gross to this graph, it takes usually at least six years. In most cases, it takes longer. So this is a very long-going project. Thank you.